Welcome to this Hydrogen 2 AutoCal hands-on demonstration video. In the following slides, we will take a brief look at some of the AutoCal functions and features and provide some best practice guidance. We will introduce AutoCal and its basic functions. We will demonstrate how to enable AutoCal on your Hydrogen. We will go through the basic AutoCal setup. We will take an initial look at configuring AutoCal programs. We will show how to add probes for use in the AutoCal. We will run an AutoCal program and demonstrate how to review the data during a program itself. We will then take a closer look at AutoCal programs again and detail the options for adjustment and calibration of probes. Finally, we shall take a review of our certificates and cover any additional points. To enable the AutoCal features, scroll to the Settings screen, select Updates, Upgrade Features, and enter your feature code here. Press Update. Once applied, you will see all active features on the screen above. With AutoCal enabled, we will now see the ACAL button on the main menu. The traditional programmer can still be accessed via the home menu screen. Within AutoCal, we see a summary of the reference and any connected probes. At the moment, no probes are connected, so the entire screen is greyed out. Below the main summary, we have any saved programs can be selected via the left and right buttons and we also have the start and stop program buttons. Before using AutoCal we should initially set up. Go to the settings page, select the settings menu and select AutoCal. From this screen we can enter important information that will be included on your certificates. For example here we have our company name our address, telephone and email. In addition, during every run it is possible to enter an operator comment. You can standardize this comment here if required. Finally, you can also add a company logo. By default the Rotronic logo will be used. If required, you can upload your own logo by inserting a USB stick following the commands on the screen. Once we are set up, we can return to the main settings screen and we can configure our reference by selecting reference. Here we have two options. We can use the internal control probe within the hydrogen or if available you can use an external chilled mirror. You will also have to purchase the external reference extension code. For the control probe we can select the calibration information. This gives you an opportunity to en enter any important reference information that you wish to include on your certificate. For example we have the factory certificate ID, our UCAS certificate ID and in addition we can enter the dates of calibration. To configure an AutoCal program, enter the AutoCal screen, select the required program and choose Edit. Here you will see a similar screen to the standard programmer. Each column represents a set point. For each set point you have a specific temperature, humidity and duration. You can insert as many columns as required. For example, we may do a 35%, 50% and 80% humidity calibration at one fixed temperature. We can edit the program name below. In addition, we have the standard temperature and humidity tolerances to control the program time.
once within the specified tolerance, the countdown will begin. In addition, for AutoCal, we have a sample size number. This is the number of readings that are recorded at the end of the set point. This detail will be saved on your certificate and is vital for providing stability information. Once completed, return to the main AutoCal screen. To run an AutoCal program, select the AutoCal screen, choose the desired program and review the points if necessary. You must then enter at least one compatible Rotronic probe via a suitable USB lead to the front USB ports. Insert the probes correctly into the hydrogen chamber itself. You will now see any connected probes on the main AutoCal screen as well as the reference probe information. You have hot links through to the certificate information as well as the reference setup. When you are ready, you can start the program via the play button. You must enter an operator name, which will be included on the certificate, and you will ha also have the option for any operator comment. AutoCal requires a USB stick to record the information. If one is not inserted, it will prompt you. The AutoCal program will now run automatically. On all screens you will see a sh small status window giving you the AutoCal program number and the elapsed time. In more detail, on the main AutoCal screen you can see the program runtime and which step and the step time remaining. AutoCal will automatically move the hydrogen through the relevant set points and create a certificate at the end. Let's take a closer look at the programmer page. As usual, first select your desired program to edit. Here we can see a very typical three-point calibration run, all at one temperature. 23 degrees 35%, 23 degrees 50, 23 degrees 80. A very typical run. This is calibration only. If we wish to adjust, we have to specifically select the radio buttons on the points we wish to acquire data and apply adjustments. By selecting these three points, AutoCal will acquire the humidity conditions at each step and apply the adjustment to the probe at the end. In this case, this would be a three-point humidity adjustment with no temperature adjustment. To avoid accidentally adjusting your probes, even if you select a program with adjustment points highlighted, you must specifically press the adjust button on each probe. This means you can adjust only one probe during a adjustment run and also prevents accidental adjustment. During an AutoCal program, you can review details for each probe via the details button. The probe details table lists all the steps and actions for that probe. Here we can see that during step 1 the probe has read three times we include the time of the reading and the probe and reference details. By default AutoCal will record five readings per step. This allows you to show stability over at least 10 minutes. All this information is included in the final certificate. Once the step is completed, AutoCal will move to the next step. Once the entire program is completed, the completed buttons will be highlighted. If for any reason there is a break in communication to a probe, the final AutoCal PDF will not be created on the USB stick. Instead, only the Excel document will be saved. We'll now move over to a PC to review some examples of the AutoCal certificates. 
Let's take a quick look at a typical AutoCAL certificate. The certificate includes the full AutoCAL certificate name and the probe under test at the top. Then you have your logos and the information is repeated here. Now we have the date and time of the calibration. Again the name of the probe and its serial number and then the reference probe name and serial number. Details entered in the reference data will be listed here. Any comments on the type of calibration, if it was using a chilled mirror, will be mentioned here. The hydrogen ID is listed, and finally we have the AutoCal program number and the AutoCal program name. A full summary of the program is listed in this table. Here we can see a very typical humidity calibration. Temperature is 23 degrees in all cases. Humidity is 35, 50 and 80. Step duration is half an hour. And there was no adjustment for temperature or humidity. We also have the tolerance settings as well. Now we see a summary of all the probe actions recorded. As discussed, by default, five readings are made at each step, at the end of the step. We can see the time here, approximately 29 minutes past 9, 31, 33, 36, 37. This gives us clear data over a range of nearly 10 minutes. We can see the instrument under test values and the reference values. As the hydrogen was controlling against the reference, these reference values are usually very close to the set point. In the final columns, we show the correction data for the probe. Similar to error, but given as a negative, or an opposite to error. The most stable reading is likely this last reading, but you are looking for stability, which we can see here is very stable, despite the program only running for half an hour. Then we have the next step and the final step. Generally, this shows that this probe was fairly well calibrated, a small temperature error and well below 1% RH error. The operator name will be listed here if entered and there is space for the operator signature and the date. Finally, the contact details, as in entered on the hydrogen, are listed. Let's look at another certificate, which is a little bit more complicated. Again, same summary information. We have a little bit more reference information entered this time. But let's go down to the AutoCal program. In this example, there was a six-step program. The first three steps included the Adjust Humidity tag. Adjustment is only made at the last humidity reading, so in effect, these first three readings are as found results, then the adjustment will be applied, and the, read, the steps are repeated. So we have our probe actions table here, and we can see as normal, step one, we have the five readings, then AutoCal will delete any saved points on the probe. This is not making any adjustment, it's just deleting any acquired points in the hydroclip itself and it then saves the first RH condition. We have the second step and a save RH, the third step and a save RH. At this point the probe is adjusted. We can see that the temperature correction is very minimal but at especially uh, all points there is over 0.5 RH correction. Once adjusted the points are repeated, and we can see that this humidity correction has reduced dramatically as the probe has been corrected against that reference. Finally, we have the same summary details in terms of the company performing the work and the operator entered here. This concludes the hands-on demonstration video for AutoCal. For more details, please do visit www.rotronic.com as well as reviewing the AutoCal manuals for the hydrogen itself or speaking to your local sales advisor.